Hi friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do newton raphson method on this calculator Casio FX 901 es So let's start. Definition newton raphson method is a numerical technique used to find roots of algebraic and transcendental equations. Algebraic equation. Equations having quadratic or cubic polynomials are called algebraic equations. For example, x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. Transcendental equations. Equations having sine, cos, tan, e to the power x, x to the power e, log, etc. are called transcendental equations. For example, 3x minus cos x minus 1 equals to 0. newton raphson method used to find root. So what is root? The value substituted for the unknown quantity, in our example it is x, satisfied the equation is called root of that equation. Find the positive root of the equation x square plus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. Here f of x that is function of x equals to x square plus 2x minus 2 and f dash x that is derivative of function of x equals to 2x plus 2. Now you have to find out the range between which the root lies. For that you have to program your calculator using alpha and right parenthesis x square plus 2x minus 2. Now you have to start with 0 and go to upward in positive range that is 1, 2, 3, 4 if the root is positive and in some cases if the root is negative you may have to start with 0 and go to the negative range in like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 etc. So in our example it is given that root is positive so we will start with 0 and go to upward 1, 2, 3. Now press calc and x equals to 0 and equals so we get minus 2. Again, x equals to 1, we get plus 1. So we can say f of 0 less than 0 and f of 1 greater than 0. Hence, the root lies between 0 and 1. We know the Newton Raphson formula xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn. f of x, f dash of x. By putting this, we get xn plus 1 equal to xn minus xn whole square plus 2 into xn minus 2 divided by 2 into xn plus 2. And let x0 equals to 0. This 0 comes from the lower value of the range. You can also use 1, no problem. By substituting xn with x0, we get xn plus 1 that is x1 equals to x0 minus x0 whole square plus 2 into x0 minus 2 divided by 2 into x0 plus 2. Let's to put it in calculator using x minus now we will use x0 equals to 0, our initial value. So press calc and x equals to 0. It gives you 1. And this 1 will be taken as input for next calculation. For x2, a1 minus 1 square plus 2 into 1 minus 2 divided by 2 into 1 plus 2. So in the calculator, you don't have to write. You simply calc and x equals to 1. It gives you 3 by 4. Press s to d, 0.75. Again, for next calculation, x equal to 0 0.75, 0 0.73214, again, 0 0.73214. Now the question is how far we will calculate? We will continue calculation until we get last two terms equal. So x equals to point seven three two zero five. So again we see point seven three two zero five has come. So we can say this is our required root. Hence the required positive root is point seven three two zero five. Now the coolest part, I will tell you instead of doing this log calculation, you can easily find out the value of root using x and alpha equals to equals. 
x square plus 2x minus 2 and press shift and calc and give y equals to 0 and your initial guess for the root so you know um, x the root lies between 0 and 1 the initial guess is 1 it will give you the value of x and for this value of x 0 0.73205 the LHS minus RHS of this equation equals to 0 that means both sides are equal for x equals to 0 0.73205 isn't it cool so friends this was my tutorial if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my youtube channel that will encourage me to post more videos additionally you can follow my blog at www.sugoi-tech.biologyspot.com thanks for watching